Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel again! You know, just yesterday I made a painting tutorial video and just the day after and that is today I am making another video tutorial for you and today we'll be painting an ice cream. Oh my god! This is my favorite! <laughs> As always, I think uh, many of my subjects are just my favorite uh, real life wise and painting wise so today we will be only we will only <laughs> we will only be using a few colors like one two three four four colors and i think that's uh the good part of this painting or about this painting because we will not be stressing so much about so many colors in one painting and as always i will do my best to make it as realistic as possible so let's begin now for the sketching part Oh, by the way, I'll be linking down below the reference image that we will be using. That one? <laughs> I can't speak properly today. <laughs> that we will be using for today's painting tutorial. And I'll be using my chalk to sketch first the subject. So let's begin now. Okay. So before I introduce to you the colors that we will be using, I will be sketching first the subject using my orange chalk. Again, I will be eyeballing everything meaning I will not uh, trace or grid anything here let's just proceed to doing something again although this is an ice cream it's still a natural subject for me because um, ice cream they kind of melt <laughs> so they lose a certain um, shape or form so basically it's just like this it doesn't Okay, I know what you're thinking. It looks like something else. <laughs> Alright, so that's the cream. Or that's the ice cream. And this is the cone. It's more of a Sunday cone, I think. More than um, the ice cream. Um, it's more of a Sunday, more than the ice cream cone. You know, the usual uh, sugar cone. So yeah, that's basically the shape of this ice cream. I don't know if I made it quite small. Actually, you can make the ice cream bigger or, th or taller. It's up to you. Or more full or fuller. It's up to you. Later, we will do some detailing. For now, let's just... Okay, that's the basic shape of it. And now let's proceed to underpainting. And these are the colors that we will be using for today's tutorial. We have titanium white, of course. Burnt sienna, black, and cadmium yellow. That's just it. Okay, let's begin now. I'll be um, doing first, I think I'll be doing first the cone. Let's do the cone first. So in order for us to do the like a skin color, skin tone color. Let's create some skin tone color. Let's just mix burnt sienna, titanium white. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. And then cadmium yellow, okay? Cadmium yellow, okay, like this color. And maybe, yeah, this color. I'll add more white. Okay, I just touched the black paint. All right, this color. Okay, and let's begin underpainting it. So remember that the underpainting is quite dark. Uh, then the actual color of it. If you can see my bucket of water, it's colored green because I painted something earlier before this one. It's not a tutorial, but yeah, that's why you can see that my water is not um, clear. It's almost like greeny, muddy green color.
right, like that. Okay, that's actually that. Uh, this look lo looks like a pot, a, uh, a pot for a plant, right? But no, that's because we haven't done the detailing yet, and this is just the underpainting. That's why it's kind of looking weird right now. Later, when we do the uh, when we do the detailing, then it will be more uh, sensible. Sensible. <laughs> it will make more sense. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna use my burnt sienna. I'm gonna add a tiny bit of black. Okay, so just make some dark brown color. And if you can see a lot of dried acrylics right here, please excuse those because you know, I've been painting a lot lately because I'm on vacation leave right now. So I'm just trying to enjoy every moment of it. So for the browny color, the chocolate part of this ice cream will be the left side and the vanilla ice cream will be on the right side. <laughs> I actually prefer to just do a uh, chocolate flavored ice cream, but you know, uh, I felt that it's kind of boring because it's just plain brown with all the highlights. So I just chose a reference image that has a little color to it. It's not really color, but some sort of a variety. <laughs> it's just vanilla anyway. Okay, so I'm just gonna color this with the dark brownie color before we proceed to doing some detailing. Again, we're trying to underpaint now. Okay, and I, I hope you can still see my palette. Yeah, you can still see my palette. Okay. All right, like that. And then we're gonna underpaint the left side. Oh, sorry, the right side. I'm losing some sense of direction right now. So for the vanilla flavor, uh, I'm just gonna get some gray color. So I'm gonna mix my white plus black, right? So just create some gray color, not just white, okay? I know it's vanilla, but again, we're underpainting, so the underpainting should be a little um, darker. I mean, a little darker than the real color. Yeah, that's basically the color that I want. Make some gray color right here. Don't worry too much for now. Okay. All right, I think that's too gray. So yeah, you can see my palette. I don't mind the mixing of brown color because again we're under painting we will be painting over this later we're just trying to create some shadows we're just trying to create some depth okay it's very nice I don't know I really don't like vanilla flavored ice cream I don't like vanilla I mean I like ice cream in general but I don't like vanilla ice cream because for me it's like it's just like I, I don't know I feel like it's just sugar <laughs> okay. 
like that. All right, that's basically the shape of our ice cream cone. All right. So I think I'll just have to fill that in, that little space right there that you see. Now, I kind of want this first to dry before I proceed to doing some detailing. Okay, wash it push out. Then let's go back to the cone. So I'm gonna get, remember the cone color that we have here? I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of black to that to make it quite gray color. So this color. All right, almost green. It's like, I don't know what, what color this is, but it's like you mud, you make the yellow a little muddy by adding black to it. So I'm gonna color this, the rim of the cone with that color. gonna make it a little rounder okay and I'm gonna use the same color to outline the cone so I'm gonna go around the sides for now it's really not making sense no but later uh, when the when the painting is done it will Okay, same color right here. Just gonna make it quite round. And then I'm just gonna like push to the right. Like that. And then this side, I'm gonna push to the left. Like that. And just clean it, clean it. Don't make any hard lines right there. Kind of blend. All right, like that. Okay. That's it for now. And then we're going to use the same color, okay? We're going to use the same color. We're going to do some crisscrossing uh, criss later, not for now. We will lighten now the middle portion. So using this cone color that we have, we're just going to add more white to that. Okay, and then also more yellow. So more white and more yellow. And let's try to lighten a bit. So like here. I think more than the ice cream, the cone is much more challenging. I mean for me. And then, oops. Add more yellow. All right, I'm gonna use that color. Here.
So I'm just gonna mix yellow and brown colors and apply quite randomly down here. Like that. All right. Okay. Now I will make some crisscrossing. You know that the crisscrossing on the ice cream. So we will be using the muted yellow greeny color that we have here. Maybe I'm gonna add a tiny bit of black, like this color. Let's try to, like, I will be really, really delicate because I think this requires some sort of concentration. Okay. So let's do the crisscrossing. It's not, I'm gonna add white. So we begin by like painting a horizontal line and then I'm just going to go we're going to do diagonal lines from left to right and then from right to left down and up okay Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing right here. Like that. It's basically like that. So now, I would like to darken even more. Or no, no, no. no. I'm going to create some, some sort of um, natural markings on the cone. You know, if you look at the reference image, the cone has, you know, uh, natural markings. Again, natural subjects are imperfect subjects. If they become perfect, they are more cartoonish to my, to my, um, I mean, in my opinion, when the subject is quite perfect, they're more cartoonish to me. They're not really realistic. They're more of fantasy. So we don't want a perfect drawing. We don't want a perfect cone. We kind of want it to be like a little melting. I don't know. It's just me. I don't know about you guys, but. Okay, again, I'm just gonna make the sides a little darker. This will give us some sort of dimension.
like that. Now let's go back to doing the ice cream. So I think it's pretty dry now. Let's proceed to highlighting it. So I'm gonna make some light brown. I'm gonna make or I'm gonna mix my burnt sienna with a tiny bit of yellow and white. Just a tiny bit, guys. Don't overdo that. Okay, more brown. I'm gonna water down so that I can apply quite smoothly on my canvas. So it's really looking like real chocolate. Same color, right here. And here, I'm gonna make it quite overlapping. And then, I don't know if you can see that, I will be making some depth by mixing my brown with black. More black this time because we actually want more depth. We're just going to go in between. Okay. I'm just gonna allow that first to dry. Let's move on to the vanilla flavor. I'm just gonna go get my pure white. I think I need more white. Okay. 
I might do a second layer of that white because I feel like I need to uh, the wet on wet is quite uh, difficult at this moment because the paint still wet of course <laughs> the wet on wet <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna go get some darker gray color. So I'm gonna mix my white with, of course, black. So this will be quite darker than the first gray that we had. Okay. I'm gonna go back to the white or to the vanilla flavor. Let's just call it vanilla, all right? It can be coconut, <laughs> but I, I'm pretty sure this is vanilla. Okay, now I'll be using some dark brown again. Okay. I'm just going to outline the rim where the ice cream sits. Just like that, you know, very subtle. Alright. Now I'm going to get some light brown. So I'm just gonna mix my white and brown. Okay. And I'm gonna use this to slightly glaze some areas on the chocolate part. Uh, thereby highlighting it, making it quite glossy. Like so. Okay, more, 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 more. I'm gonna add more yellow to my light brown. Yellow, cadmium yellow. It's very subtle. Okay, I'm gonna get my white. Let's make some highlights.
Oops. I actually made a mistake. Okay, now I'm going to make some dark brown again. Just to go. Let me check. All right. So again, this needs more detailing. Okay, I hope the white is quite dry already. Okay, I'm going to use my pure white. Okay, and then I'm going to use my white and yellow. Okay, I'm going to kind of glaze over the cone like, okay, like this. And I'm going to spread it quite evenly in the middle portion only. Kind of like highlight the cone. All 
Right. I'm actually thinking if I am missing something. Okay, I'm gonna wash my brush out. Okay, we're gonna figure this out. So I'm trying to outline the chocolate in some black, like subtly um, outlining it, not too much. All right, I'm gonna create some sort of in, um, like a bump. I don't know if you see that in your ice cream cones. It's raining here again. It's been two weeks of rain. It's like I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Uh, I'm living in um, the UK, right? It's quite a rainy place there. It's been like that here. All right, and then I'm going to get some light yellow. Even if we're just painting one subject and we're only using a few colors, it's quite like a little challenging for me. For some reason, this is quite challenging. Okay, I'm gonna wash my brush out. Okay, and I'm gonna use some white, water down, watered it down, and kind of go to those gray areas that you have to kind of connect, you know, the the ice cream together. We don't want any like weird lines, hard lines, making appearance right there. So. I don't want to connect everything together.
Okay, now I'm gonna get this pure burnt sienna. And I'm gonna glaze the chocolate like that, uh, like using that color. Just um, ever so slightly glazing it. We're not trying to cover what we've already done. We're trying to glaze. And you know, we're, when, we're gra uh, when we're glazing, <laughs> sorry guys. When we're glazing, we're trying to make the picture um, uh, be brought to life like together, like a swan piece, not separate pieces like a puzzle. So I'm gonna use some watered down pink, uh, brown and I'm gonna go around this area. It's like some suggestion of melting, almost mixing with the vanilla. some light browns again okay using some dark browns just gonna go right here Okay, all right. Still, still, I need more details. So I'm gonna get my white and I'm just gonna go around again those gray, super gray areas. I need more white. And I'm gonna make some areas brighter than the others. I'm gonna insert more more brownie colors like so
So I'm not really speaking too much right now because you know I'm just using light brown and brown and black. There's not so much in our palette today. So I hope that you kind of get it from how I'm doing it. Some things are better explained by doing them instead of just talking or speaking about them. Okay, I think we're getting there, my God. I think I just have to do a little, a little more detailing on the vanilla ice cream. Add some white. And I'm gonna add some white highlights randomly on the cone. It's quite random, very random. Do not highlight all the lines, just a few. Okay, I think I need to make the chocolate a little like thicker, like up to here. Yeah, like that. Okay. And of course, as usual, you can hear the streets. And now I'm going to glaze using some white. making some areas really really bright
Okay. I need more brown. So I'm trying to overlap some browns over the white. Just using pure white, we're just going to highlight.
and I'm gonna glaze this area with some white just glazing guys glazing Okay, I think I'm, I'm going to use some light brown to kind of glaze again this part of the chocolate area. So I'm just going to go like that. I'm trying to kind of glaze. Just gonna clean let me check okay I think I will remove the frame I mean the what do you call this yeah that's way better gosh it's so difficult to do the chocolate part but i will remove the tape now i'm gonna see if somehow it's going to make a difference um all right so let's remove the tape sometimes the contrast of the tape's color against the painting sometimes you know kind of changes my view about the painting okay so we just removed the tape which is amazing right so it's very simple very simple painting but again um 
we had a hard time doing it admittedly right guys i mean i cannot deny that that was quite a challenging painting for me again one subject very difficult when you analyze really the colors that are involved in the subject And I think I will add a little shadow, okay? I just kind of like some sort of shadow. Um, I don't want it to be like super, just like that, just flat on the surface, on the paper. I would like to add a tiny bit of shadow. Actually, the reference image doesn't have any shadow, none at all, but I kind of like to create one for this painting. And of course, it's very, very noisy outside. No shadows this side but we kind of we should identify the flat uh, the surface on which it is placed because without the shadow I feel like it's just a flat painting right guys Right. I think that's much better compared to, you know, it's, it's having nothing to, nothing um, that like there's no surface that it is placed on. I think this is much better than that. I don't know. If you want your painting to be just like that, to be just flat as the reference image, you can do that. But I don't think I prefer that. So it's really up to you. Me, I don't like it without the surface on which it is placed kind of want some sort of table right so since we've already uh, identified where the light is coming since this area is light i might as well make half of the ice cream quite light so i'll be glazing on it some white paint water down to kind of suggest that it's being hit by the light And some sort of brownie color on the left side. I'm just darkening.
I kind of like the background to be consistent with each other. So the background is just, you know, the remaining paint that I have here, just to suggest that there's a wall, it's not an empty space. Like that, well, I kind of like this better. Better without the, I mean, better than without the, the shadow and better without the background color. I kind of like this one. And I'm just gonna slightly brush this side to kind of spread the light on the right side. Again, the light is coming from the right. The right is the light is coming from the right. It's like a tongue twister. All right. Okay. And then I'm gonna use tiny bit of brush. We're almost done, guys. I'm just a little bit obsessing about the light source of this painting. Because you know me and light, how much I respect the light. I mean, I do my best to kind of respect the light source. I'm gonna use some watered down brown or burnt sienna, okay? Be careful with this step. You might just cover everything that we've done. So slightly, And even on the cone touch the cone ever so slightly with some brown without again covering okay those crisscrossing that we had just slightly oh my gosh this is what I like about I like this way better okay that's what I like about it That's nice. We're just gonna spread. You can still see the crease crossing, right? So I think I have to sign this now. Again, it's a pretty simple subject, but uh, I think um, we somehow spent a lot of time on actually getting some dimension that's what i was aiming for all right i'm gonna sign this now so for the signature i will be using i guess my black or brown or a combination of both for the signature i just use whatever it is that that's on my palette i don't really use any other color outside my palette All right so that's it that's it so that's basically it our ice cream is done actually you can add a little more detailing if you want but I think this is all good. So simple and yep. I don't know. I'm just looking at the reference and I'm trying to identify if there are some more areas that need some more <laughs> detailing. Um, again, you can stop at whatever point.
Okay, sorry guys, but I think I need to correct the vanilla thing. Okay, I'm just using pure white. I think we're, I'm spending so much time, but I don't mind. I don't mind, guys. All right, I think this is done. Right, I think this is done, guys. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope uh, you learned something, although we spent a little more time compared to my other videos, but I think it's worth it. And this is my first time as well to paint some ice cream that I really want to like give some sort of dimension. So I hope you enjoyed this one and I hope you did this one as well. See you in my next video, guys. Mm-hmm.